All right, so we have our little circles that have been parameterized here. And so the next thing we want to do is create uh, this bamboo piece here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and we're going to repeat those circle components that we made along a line. So this one will be uh, file, same process, new family. Um, I'm going to go to English or metric and generic model adaptive. And this will have two points. So I'll just go place um, a point here and here, and uh, I'll make them adaptive. Okay, and then also, sorry, I can't not stand that gradient background. Um, let's go ahead and change it to none. All right, um, and then I'm going to draw a line and divide it and um, place those circles on it. And then I'll draw two circles um, and create a cylinder. So let's go to reference line and make sure it's set to draw on face and 3D snapping is on. And I'll just go one, two. And you can go ahead, it depends on how new you are to Revit, but you can test these things, you know, to make sure that they're actually holding. Um, I don't do that much anymore because I have confidence in it. But um, once you get that, you can pick that line and divide the path. If you want to control the number of divisions, you could do that um, by picking this. And there's the division number, or you can actually set a parameter on it here by clicking on that and going new parameter. But I'm just going to leave it at six and be happy with that. Um, so now let's go to our little circle guy and load that into project family six. And I'll place that on one of those nodes and you'll see that it'll set that. And if it's set on the node, whoops. Yeah, there it is. I can repeat it. So I'll repeat it and it repeats it along that distance. Now I need my cylinder that's going to go inside of there. So I'll go to reference circle go to draw and work plane and set, and I'll set this vertical um, and then make sure I'm getting the point there for the center of that. And then I'll set the other vertical one and might have to zoom in to get the points because it's kind of seeing those other circle options. And then uh, I'll come in and, and let's just make that a permanent dimension and we'll make this a permanent dimension and I'll pick this and I'll create a new parameter and um, I'll call that um, radius cylinder okay um, and click OK and then I'll just assign that same parameter to this guy And then I'll pick both of these circles, holding down the control key, and create form. And then I'll just go to this guy and set it to 20 as a radius. And so there's our sort of little bamboo thing. And I'll just go ahead and save this guy. And I'll save it as two point cylinder. Right? And so now I've got that guy. Now one thing that is um, worth mentioning is that this little guy, if we pick one individual of the little circles we made, we do get the option to change the um, radius here. But once we insert this into another family, we won't have access to that anymore. And there is a way to pass these through. So the instance parameter has a little square next to it. So I can come and radius circles. I can actually click on this and create a new parameter and it will pass this through. Right? Click OK. And so now that's controlled by that parameter. And then I can pass this to this through as well. Some people call them different names. Um, and click OK. Right? And so now those come up in this dialog box and I can change it, right? So if I did 24 and hit apply, now those guys will update based on, or if I did, you know, 70 and apply, right? Those guys will now update based on that, right? Okay, so now I'll just save this 
um, and this is sort of our base. And then we'll make the uh, triple columns and the horizontal um, columns, horizontal beams.